Hi everybody, I'm uh, Yao Chung, go by YC for short. I'm the group CEO of Advanced MedTech. Yeah, I've always been in the healthcare sector, beginning in the Singapore Economic Development Board in EDB. After that, I went for a short stint at Tan Tock Seng Hospital doing planning. Then after that, I joined Advanced MedTech. The two defining experiences for my career was my time in the Singapore Economic Development Board, EDB, as well as Tan Tock Seng Hospital. These two experiences gave me a very different perspective of the healthcare sector. In the Singapore Economic Development Board, it was a macro level perspective, whereby when I was there, we helped to set policies, both at the government level and industrial policies, to encourage the innovation to take place in Singapore. When I went to Tan Tock Seng Hospital, it was still dealing with healthcare, but at the front line where innovation is actually delivered to the patients. So that's a totally different perspective allowing me to really see the impact of the innovation on the patients. So our values actually is embedded in our culture and our belief, our values is that to be really collaborating with the partners in the ecosystem as well as working to deliver the innovations focus on our patients and our doctors. Advanced MedTech serves our patients and doctors in the area of urology. We specifically focus on two areas. One is kidney stones as well as what we call benign prostate hyperplasia. For kidney stones, it affects 1 out of 10 people in the world. About 50% of them will have a recurrence of the kidney stones. The other one is the area of what we call benign prostate hyperplasia, BPH for short. Now, BPH is the condition whereby the prostate, which is the size of a walnut, which sits at the base of the bladder, it increases in size. Size. Now, what does Advanced MedTech do? We deliver innovations to help treat these two diseases. In the area of uh, kidney stones, what we strive to is to provide the medical devices resulting in shorter surgery time and faster recovery for patients. The other area of BPH, uh, we provide techniques, equipment that allows for the removal of the prostate while retaining the sexual function and the urinary function of the patient as much as possible. The strategic gap that is present today in the treatment of kidney stones is how do we integrate the various surgical equipment together. In the treatment of kidney stones using surgical lasers, you need three major instruments for the procedure. The first one is what we call a scope. It goes up the urinary tract and allows the physician to visualize the stone. The second one is the laser that goes up through the scope to then break the stone. And the last part of the procedure, which is a new technology now, is that through a excess shift, you can suck out the debris of the stone. Now, the gap today we have is how do we combine these three together. That is something that Advanced Meta is developing and we are working on bridging the digital information across the three platforms to combine them together. Digital transformation for Advanced Med Tech and for myself is really the use of the latest digital technology to better improve our medical devices. So for us, we have applied it in the treatment of surgical lasers for the treatment of kidney stones. So that's digital transformation and it's ongoing. Now how we see AI helping doctors in medical devices is to shorten the learning curve and to make the procedure more efficient. Now for patients, we have created EuroGPT. What it does is that it helps patients be able to communicate and understand their condition better. And this chatbot has been rolled out in US. We have piloted it with many major hospitals such as UCLA and the results have been positive. Certainly, the aging population, you have a high patient demand. At the same time, healthcare professionals, that's limited. Where medical devices or technology come into play is to provide equipment that can speed up the procedure. Now, on the aging population side, what we can do really is prevention. So, really, uh, patient education. We have done that by setting up the Worst Pain Ever community, the largest kidney stones community on Facebook. We want to bring it to Asia. We are committed to promoting patient awareness uh, together with the doctors and with the doctors we will have opportunities to share about the diseases, increase the awareness and the various treatment options through the various media platforms that is available today.
I see that Asia will be a place where, as our economies develop, the demands of healthcare by the rising middle class and the population will increase. And the only way that Asian countries can meet that healthcare challenge is by considering treatments that are cost effective because the old way of providing high cost treatments is no longer viable in the future. And that will be a challenge that I believe that Asian medtech companies are very well positioned to do so with our uh, growing population as well as the large number of engineering talents that are coming from Asia. So I believe the future for medtech belongs to Asia and I look forward to the next 5 to 10 years what innovations will come from Asia. Thank you.